what's up and welcome to this new tutorial video so today in this tutorial i will show you how to insert 3d elements into a photo and then specifically i will show how to create its shadows in the photo actually because it becomes a big problem when you create the shadows of 3d objects in the photo and many of the 3ds max users are actually facing this problem so today i will clear that to you guys and make sure to subscribe and let's get to the tutorial okay guys so here we go so open your 3ds max and assign a new background image from here click on user files and come to the files and select that image here and it's a nice pair of cards out here okay guys so now what we will do is we will insert a camera just like this and set set with the selected camera right at here now what we will do is we will just align the grid with the image I'm just aligning that to the tiles and so that's it the camera is aligned now there are some few steps that we need to do is come to the environment window and also select the same image out here okay make sure to check out on its resolution as you can see out here now come to the render setup and in it set that resolution uh, at proportional to that and you know that better okay now what's the next step in the next step come here to the material editor and just drag this material onto this here you will see spherical environment is selected so select screen and now when you render this image the background image will also be in it okay now that were the necessary steps that were needed to be done now we will insert the 3d object in this scene select a geosphere and select this to pivot just draw it like that okay now what's our mission is to create its shadow so to make its shadow if you render it there is no shadow of it so you will insert a light target direct light go to perspective view and Insert that light Tear it out a little Ok now set the view back to the camera And turn the shadow on Still there is no shadow. So what you would think is let's insert a plan. Okay now now when you run to the image we get the shadow. 
but we also get this plan in the scene which we don't want so what we will do is come to the material editor and we will assign a special material to this plan on which this the on which the shadow will fall so with matte shadow and assign to it and that's it as you can see just only the shadow is rendered and the plan is you can say it's transparent now you can you can make the object a little higher and you can play with it and the shadow is much more denser so we can insert a skylight into it and also cast shadows of it make the sample spark and now that's it you can see it looks pretty realistic you just need to assign some correct materials to this sphere and it will look like realistic and let's do that now so we'll assign the same material as this ground at here I'll just drag this image copy and here select texture by default texture is selected now we will crop the ground only by the ratio of 1 cross 1 just like that you can see the texture is applied apply a UV map onto it box or sparkle yes now render the image still there is some work needed We can just increase the tiling. Let's select it. Set it to two. And create this peculiarity a little. And also the bump map is necessary. Just drag that image onto it. And increase the scale. Now let's swatch. Now it looks better than that. Now what we'll do is just make it a little noisy. So we will apply a noise modifier on it. So that first we will increase the segments of it. That's it and decrease the scale so it is more exposed. It looks like a, a big rock. Now that's nice, isn't it? that's cool I think the light is a little more 
intensified light and will decrease its intensity and the point and point and also here you can see the shadow color is darker while here it is bluish so what you will do is select light again and from here you can see shadow color so you don't need to select the blue you just have to decrease that a little and check it out ok it's not good And there you can see now it is just looking to be like that. You can try on another and I think that's better. So now what we will do is almost finished so you can animate it and you can just save it as a picture if you have not subscribed yet so subscribe now and thanks for watching